It is with great pleasure <laughs> that I introduce the next poet. <laughs> He's never been in this house before, and he will never be in this house again. <laughs> I'm even proud of that one. <laughs> Please put your hands together for the only, the one, the only, Jeff Cannon. <laughs> When my daughters ask me questions about the grandparents, and they invariably do, I tell them the stories my gray-haired mind recalls after the sifting, like a river miner, looking over, diligently, patiently, looking over every piece, washing it of my bias, letting it dry out on its, on its own truth, like the leaves curled up in their honesty, can finally describe what it meant to be green. I'm careful because my ignorance can infect them, so nothing of that history matters. They ask me because they want to know where I came from, so they have a context of the galaxy of fevers and flowers they woke up in. Daddy, did your father read stories to you? Uh, <laughs> well, no. Did your father uh, let you um, play with dolls on his chest? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, no, I didn't have dolls. <laughs> I did have, though, a teddy bear. Yes, I had a teddy bear. The answer to your second question? No. No. Uh, did your mother really cook the shit out of the dinner? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, she did. And did she always have mean dogs, Daddy? Well... No, not really. Uh, Shadow liked her very much. But when I arrived, he got so envious of me, it drove him mad. And the cops had to come and shoot him in the basement. Mm. Now, let's see. Jenny was really good. Princess was bad. <laughs> like I said, they want to know their history, what wraps their bones, that makes them stop sometimes at some photos burning with the question, who do I take after? What, what past breathes within me? What old flame holds mine? What will I pass on? Now, what answer can I give them? What answer can ever be really, truly honest, and yet the one that wants not to intentionally lie, or uh, relax in uh, Sartre's uh, armchair, uh, rocking every excuse to lie. Oh, then not! No, no, no! Then yes! Oh, possibly! Oh, yes! For promoting the revolution! Yes! Oh, the history! Yes, for the sake of history! Not the one we were given! No! Not the one we were told we are! But the history we make! Even if you have to, why? Well, you know why? Because hell is other people. And we all have dirty hands. Marked with the tortured stench of bad faith. <laughs> Call me an idealist, impractical, less than a realist. When it comes to family politics. <laughs> <laughs> I can only walk with Camus 
I can only tell my daughters what I know as honestly as I can, holding what happened and the perspective of my age and temperament now, so no factor of the equation is bent, denied, or lost, or conveniently tossed over my back and lost. To do that would be violent. To do that would be an act of murder against all of us. And I cannot add to the lies already, choking the air, polluting the earth, they need to know what truth exists. So with that measure, they can find themselves, like the bird, the nest, the squirrel, the tree of his birth, the roots of a life, that like the rings of a tree hold their insides together. Reinforce them, so the body can stand with what it knows. Respect its pain, lick its wounds with the ointment from the tongue of understanding. Forgive early and carry less baggage so they don't get old too soon and rot or exhaust themselves like the fire hoses putting out fires that were never theirs to put out that they could never put out for the dramatis personae of that play kept resetting them because they could never put them out they could only live through the dust love through the ashes of their dreams our tears will never mend. I can never tell them why. I can only color in the spaces with the reds and orange crayons, the, the colors that mark my getting over, like the clearing of the throat that spits out what blocks the honest word. Let it out, finally, to boil into the stew of simply being human. And all of this with only one condition, that they just sip that stew carefully so they don't swallow any stones. Mm. Nice.